Jays and the A's closing out their series in Oakland. Tommy Malone on the hill for the A's, facing Anthony Ghost in the top of the first with Rajay Davis off second. And Ghost lays down a good bunt, so Davis is going to go for third. But Davis isn't just satisfied with that. Ghost thrown out, but Davis coming home, and he's safe. So aggressive base running by Toronto puts them up one to nothing to the bottom of the third. Now tied at one with runners on the corners. Josh Reddick hits this one away, back and gone for the three-run shot. That's his 24th of the year off Jays starter Aaron Laffey, and the A's take a 4-1 lead, but the Jays would make a comeback. Top of the fourth, Edwin Encarnacion launches this one high and deep. Going back, Coco Chris. Track, wall, leaps, it's gone. The two-run shot is 29th of the year, and the A's lead cut to one into the top of the fifth. Jays with the bases loaded, two out, and you nail Escobar stepping to the plate. There's a base at the left field. Davis scores and Ghost is right behind him and Escobar delivers with the bases loaded. So the Jays have a 5-4 lead, four unanswered runs for Toronto. Next batter, Kelly Johnson. Bloop single going to bring home Edwin Encarnacion and the Jays take a two-run lead. They're up 6-4 to the bottom of the seventh. Crisp at the plate facing Brandon Lyon. And Crisp with the extra base hit that's fair down the right field line up against the wall. So the A's aren't giving up as Adam Rosales scores. They pull to within one. It's a 6-5 game. In the bottom of the ninth, still 6-5. Casey Jansen trying to close things out, facing Jamiah Weeks with one out. What a play by Jan Gomes throw to first, and the game is over. How about Jan Gomes taking away extra bases and turning it into a double play? Watch defense that preserves the 6-5 Blue Jays win. Jansen has 14th save of the season. Five different Blue Jays with two hits in the game. The Jays win the last two of the series to split the four-game set with Oakland. And the A's play starter A.J. Griffin on the 15-day DL earlier today with a shoulder injury.